okay, you had to listen to my trashy beat for long enough. Um, sorry if I sound a little bit weird, I'm currently a little bit ill, but I decided to still make a video because there is something cool that I want to check out. The beat is trashy because I'm actually not making a lot of music lately, to be honest. I am more involved in developing plugins at the moment. That's why I would say the production tips lately might have been a little bit more on the mediocre side. I'm sorry for that, but you know, sometimes I have to change my priorities a little bit to keep on moving. Also, it's kind of hard to be a music YouTuber in general when you try to be a faithful musician. Cause like, you know, when you have to make music in a way that it results in stuff you can make videos about, that means that you have to avoid taking too big risks because that would mean that you can, you know, not make a video about cool stuff for a while because you are so busy trying to figure out the stuff that could potentially be great. Meanwhile, if you are just throwing a bunch of spectral gates on stuff, it will always sound fascinating and you can do a lot of stuff with it and there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like people who don't have a YouTube channel can make music more freely, which is something that is very valuable. Still, I have decided for this path because it's, um, it's a cool path. It's fun. I like it. There is much to do here as well. And one thing that we can do as a music YouTuber is checking out plugins like Rex Tree, which is a bell tree. Or is it not called a chime zoo? I don't know. People who have this instrument in real life, let me just know in the comments what this is called if you know it. And I just enjoy the sound, okay? I was searching for my USB cable, USB to keyboard, because I need a keyboard for this plug-in, actually. You have seen you can sweep your mouse over those bell thingies and it will produce sound. But for example, what you can do is play MIDI notes, or actually you can. This plug-in has a MIDI note feature, but it's not to play notes. See, I'm pressing notes and it doesn't do anything, but... I can do this. So this is the mod wheel controller, I guess, and... Left and right movements move the whole thing left and right, while up and down movements... Let me sweep across the bell tree or Rex tree. I can change what the lowest pitch should be. Now I have a dark bell tree, something that I haven't heard before. You can also change the range. That sounds very trippy to me, because it also creates different harmonic systems, kind of. If I'm going very carefully with the mod wheel... You can hear the individual notes. Actually, I think with the mouse it's even easier. It becomes most apparent with the higher spread values, where the intervals are very big. And then we have Attack and Decay. On low values it sounds like FFT artifacts. which is pretty cool. Some of these sections also have additional features. For example, you can hit on this button to MIDI mode and then MIDI notes are interpreted as the lowest note of the Rex tree.
pretty cool. Even though I don't have a use case for that yet. But it's still pretty cool. In continuous mode, the spread is just continuous. You can make nice slides when you modulate this parameter. And in step mode, you can only go in integer steps. I don't know why that feature is in here exactly, but I feel like those integer steps sound pretty harmonic. So maybe it makes sense for workflow reasons, I don't know. Oh, what's my hair looking like? Damn, son. I'm glad my girlfriend is not watching my channel. Okay, so um, now about the physics engine, you can change the span. I think it changes something about the sound in some way, but I can't quite put my finger on it. You decollide. Huh. Yeah, I would need a manual for this, I guess. I just know that when you turn up swing and wait, you get more sort of weird delays. This is very useful when you try to Take your fingers off the keyboard and just want to do something else in the meantime. For example, loading Chroma. instant shoegaze vibes but let's still unload chroma again even though it's a very nice combination because i wanna hear the actual whoa uh, instrument <laughs> okay so this is an additive synthesizer apparently because here you can change the volume of each of the harmonics of every single voice So this would be only one sine wave. Nice. I love all the different kind of flavors of sound you can get from this synthesizer. Even though it would be kind of cool if you could also pan each of these individual harmonics for a more interesting stereo spread. We already have a bunch of stereo features here like this built-in M-verb 7B. And a stereo with control in general. So maybe it's not too bad that there are no panning options here. There is definitely stuff to make things wide.
Even though I gotta say it often sounds better when you use less stereo width for some reason. So I don't know, maybe the way the stereo width is approached in this plugin could be improved, but I don't know. It's the only thing that I'm not quite happy with, even though I like the sound of this reverb, but not the sound of the stereo width always. It could... I don't know. Maybe I would use frequency shifters. That would be interesting. I mean, it's easy to make something cool with frequency shifters and bells. Okay, let's use this plugin in this beat. I have a little bit of an idea what I want to do, which is I will now take these chords and also these ones and I want to glue them together. Here in Bitwig, for some reason, you can't just take something and press CTRLC, then go somewhere else with your playhead and CTRLV because I don't know why it doesn't work. It's just. Uh, but what does work is manually dragging something to the place where you want it to be. And this is exactly where I wanted it to be. I wanna take these chords that I already wrote for other instruments and just lengthen them so that there is a note everywhere. And then use that to feed either chroma or pitch map, I'm not sure yet, on those belts. And then play around with the pitch wheel to find the flavors that I want. Let's try chroma because it's easy to use and fun. Okay, I think I got a vibe sometimes. Okay, nice. Now I got a new flavor in this beat because of Quilcom Rex 3. I don't know if this plugin is suitable for emulating what this instrument is in real life, but it's definitely suitable for some nice sounds. And yeah, that is what this video is about. Bye!